Give me just a minute, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started here directly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Prayer Warriors, I'm glad that you are in the, in the house with me. It has been a very interesting day, for sure. And we have a privilege to approach the King of the Universe and ask Him for His mercy and remind Him, as He has told us to do, remind Him of His covenants and His promises. And so for today, for this evening, my goal is to unify the body of believers, and that's why we're going to be reading the Psalms, which is wonderful because no matter what your theological persuasion is, everyone can get behind the Psalms because the Psalms are the word of the Lord. And so just as a little bit of context and as a bit of housekeeping before we get going, first off, um, I would actually request that you um, pray for me as as we're as I'm leading this broadcast tonight. Today has been a very rough day for pain for me. Um, but this is my experience is small compared to other people, of course. But uh, I felt a call to um, to conduct this broadcast and to hold this prayer meeting tonight. And so I would just ask your prayers that the Lord would strengthen me and equip me and um, give me give me endurance and give me the words to lead this to lead this prayer meeting and i'm just really grateful that y'all are here so thank you so much for being here secondarily um regardless of what your political persuasions are i would just ask that people suspend um, anything except for focus on the lord and just beseeching the lord for his mercy and for his tenderness and for his kindness so um this this broadcast is meant to be uplifting and to be unifying and I want it to be in a spirit of unity. And if that's not something that you're capable of, of comporting yourself with, then I would ask you to find something else to do with your time. <laughs> so for the next hour or so, my goal is just to be able to spend the time in prayer with y'all. And I'm just very, very happy. I'm happy that y'all are here. Before we get started, so that you know what I'm praying out of, I will be referencing, this is, it's been a while since we've been here together, hasn't it? It's been, what, maybe like a year or so since my last live stream. Um, this is the Korin Tehillim, so this is the Psalms in Hebrew and in English. It does not matter what, what translation that you're using, the Lord knows your heart, whatever scriptures that, um, that you have in front of you, I would ask that you go ahead and grab them. So if you've got your scriptures nearby, we are going to be reading out of the Psalms and something that's from a practical importance standpoint, it is important for you to recite as we're praying together. Even if our words don't match up tonight, it is important that you speak the word of God out loud. And why is this important? Because in the midst of everything that's going on right now, we know that the power of life and death are in the tongue. The power of life and death are in the tongue which means that while the enemy speaks death, we speak life. But our God is powerful. Our God is a covenant-keeping God. And when we speak His promises, <laughs> the enemy flees. And that's the power of speaking and reciting the Word of God. The universe was created through speech and through sound. And we have the opportunity to come together tonight in a spirit of unity and to speak life and to speak peace over a situation that is dark. The timing of this is not by accident. The enemy always comes against three things, three specific covenants of the Lord. The covenant of the Lord's times, his calendar. The covenant in the flesh of the Lord. The covenant that he gave Abraham for the eighth day. And the final thing that people come against whenever they seek to attack the Lord and to attack his people is the covenant of the Torah, which is the word of God. Today in the calendar is Simchat Torah. Simchat Torah 
is the time when traditionally it is celebrated that the Lord gave Matan Torah, that the Lord gave the children of Israel the Torah, the first five books of the scriptures, the commandments of the Lord, the 613 commandments. The same word of the Lord that endures forever, that we're told not one jot or one tittle will pass away. This is the day that the enemy chose to attack. This is effectively the anniversary of God's covenant with his people Israel. Can you imagine the audacity of attacking a husband in the midst of him and his wife's anniversary celebration? You don't attack the wife on the anniversary and expect the husband not to retaliate. The enemy may have come against the people of Israel and the land of Israel, but ultimately that land and those people are the Lord's. And whoever raises a hand against the Lord's anointed is going to be dealt with in accordance with the blessings and the curses that God enforces with his covenant. So we get to partner together tonight. We get to partner together with each other and to pull on the heavenly tug of war. If you have seen any of the footage from the, uh, from the enemy's side, in this footage they invoke the name of their God. This is not simply a political contest of will. This is a contest and an invocation of their deity that they serve and the God that they serve. But we know that our God is greater. There is none above him. There is none that will defy him. There is none beyond his sight. There is nothing beyond his power. Nothing will take his children away from him. Nothing will interdict his covenants. Nothing will stop his will from being manifest in this world. And as we're praying, part of this need for unity, and this is why I ask you, wherever you're at, if you can stop and grab your scriptures and grab your Bibles, wherever you're at, it doesn't matter what translation that you have, the power and the unity of coming together and reciting the word of God makes the enemy's forces flee. An important thing to understand, particularly in this level of spiritual warfare that we're dealing with, this level of, of warfare that you're seeing in the physical is the physical manifestation of the heavenlies and of the spiritual. This is more than just a series of moves and counter moves and of military raids and of of threats made manifest in the physical. This has its power and its root in the spiritual. It must be attacked in the spiritual. It must be repelled in the spiritual. And that is the power of prayer. It's important to understand the power of prayer and the power of Psalms. David, David HaMelech, who ultimately was responsible for destroying, rooting out, and obliterating the giants in the land, the descendants of the Nephilim. David HaMelech, David understood the power of the Psalms, the power of worship, the power of prayer, the power of spiritual warfare, the power of unity in the spirit. That unity in the spirit and the recitation of the word of God will send the enemy's encampment fleeing divided seven ways. The promise was given to us in the Torah that one of you will chase a thousand to ten thousand. What does this mean? In unity, we can accomplish in the spiritual exponentially greater than what the math of this finite physical world would tell us is possible. By uniting together and by praying and by reciting the word of God, we have the power to dispel the enemy's forces and to cut off their power at its root, which is in the spiritual. The only way for this to be successful and the only way for the enemies of God to be stopped, to be thwarted, and ultimately to be obliterated is in the spiritual. And so uh, as we're coming together tonight, I was reflecting before we got started today. I was reflecting on books in 2 Samuel about David before he went against the Philistines. And it's important to contextualize here that the area of Gaza has always been a problem uh, from the very early times. This area has a stronghold spiritually that gets its root in idolatry, and it always has since the days way back when. The passage that I want to begin with tonight is actually in 2 Samuel, and it's at the end of 2 Samuel chapter 7. If you have your scriptures, please turn with me to 2 Samuel chapter 7. It's 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 17. My translation may be a little bit different, 
Uh, I'm reading from the Art Scroll, which is both Hebrew and English, but I'll read in the English. In 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 18, we're going to be reading from verse 18 down to the first few verses in chapter 8. 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 18. King David then came and sat down before Hashem, which is God, the Lord, and said, Who am I, O my Lord, Hashem Elohim? And who is my household that you should have brought me this far? And yet this was still insufficient in your eyes, my Lord, Hashem Elohim, so that you have spoken even of your servant's household in the distant future. God made a promise to David. And that would be fitting for great men, O my Lord, Hashem Elohim. What more can David say to you? You know your servant, my Lord, Hashem Elohim. It is because of your word and your desire that you have bestowed all this greatness upon me and informed your servant of it, because you are great, my Lord, Hashem Elohim, for there is none like you, and there is no God beside you, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And who is like your people, like Israel, a unique nation on earth, whom God went forth to redeem unto himself, for a people, thus gaining himself renown, and to perform great works for you, Israel, and wonders for your land, driving out nations and their gods from before your people, whom you have redeemed for yourself from Egypt. You have established for yourself your people, Israel, as a people unto you forever, and you, Hashem, have been a God for them. And now, Hashem Elohim, May you forever uphold the matter that you have spoken concerning your servant and his house, and do as you have spoken. And may your name thereby be glorified forever, saying, Hashem, Master of legions, is God over Israel. And may the house of your servant David remain firm before you. For you, Hashem, Master of legions, Adonai Sevaot, God of Israel, have revealed to the ear of your servant, saying, I shall create a dynasty for you. That's a messianic promise for the future. Therefore, your servant has found it proper in his heart to pray this prayer to you. And now, O oh my Lord, Hashem Elohim, you are God. And your words will come true. And you have spoken to your servant of this benevolence. And now may you desire to bless the house of your servant, that it may remain forever before you, my Lord, Hashem Elohim, have spoken. And from your blessing, may the house of your servant be blessed forever. And then the next few verses. It happened after this that David struck the Philistines and subdued them. David took Metheg Hamah, from the hands of the Philistines. He also struck Moab. He measured his captives with a rope, laying them down on the ground and measuring two ropes length to be put to death and one rope's length to be kept alive. The Moabites became subjects to David, bearers of tribute. All of this has happened before. If you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know that we look at current events through the lens of history. And some of the best history and records ever written are in the scriptures. Everything that we see now has been done in the past. And there is a Hebrew proverb, actually. It says, As it was for our fathers, it will be a sign for the sons. The victory in David's day against the Philistines who came against him came after he invoked the name of the Lord, ascribed glory to the Lord, reminded the Lord of his covenant, and ultimately gave the glory for the victory to the Lord and understood that any subsequent promise of his line that God had previously granted him would come to fruition as a result of submission and because of God's benevolence and his promises to his people. Those promises remain and they endure from generation to generation because our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In him there is no variance or shifting shadow. His people will always be his people and his land will always be his land. He's sworn it as such, and he will keep it as his watch. So friends, as we get started tonight, we're going to transition to the, to the Psalms. Again, I'll be reading from the Corinth Elam, which is in both Hebrew and in English. 
You read in whatever translation that you have. I am confident that the Lord knows the hearts of his people wherever they are around the world. I'll probably be jumping around a little bit in the Psalms. We won't go straight through, but I'll call them out for you before we get started. Let's start before we go into reading the Psalms with a moment of silence and reflection and quiet before the Lord. Let's get our hearts in a proper posture before the Lord to listen to His Spirit who is with us in every generation. He told us in the book of Isaiah, My spirit that I have laid upon you and my words which I have placed in your mouth shall not depart from you or from your children forever. So we know that His Spirit is with us. And we know that His Spirit is with Israel, His people. And we know that anyone who blesses Israel, the Lord moves mightily in him. Let's have a moment of silence to prepare ourselves for the work that we're going to be doing. We're going to be uniting together and we're going to be pulling on the rope, the, the rope, the heavenly rope in the tug of war. Adonai Safka Tiftaha Ufiagi Tehila Techa Lord, open up my lips and let my mouth show forth your praise. Father, I ask you in your mercy tonight, as over a thousand people have gathered on the live stream, your servants from across many different places and time zones. I ask you to honor the heart's cry of your people. I ask you to remember the covenant that you forged with Abraham, with Isaac, with Jacob. You were with Joseph in the pit. You went with him down to Egypt. You raised him up to be mighty second only to Pharaoh. You used him to deliver not only your people, but also the entire ancient Near East. You delivered your people through the sea of reeds. You brought them into a good land. You were with David and his mighty men. Be with us tonight, Father, that we may pray your will. Be with us as we recite your word. Strengthen us in accordance with your abundant mercy. Allow us to do your work. Equip us to pray your words. Remember your people, Lord. Ana Adonai Hoshiana. Lord, hear and save us. Ana Adonai Hatzlichana. Grant us success now, O Lord. Amen. Psalm 20. Psalm 20. As I read, you read in your own words or as the Spirit gives you utterance. Psalm 20, for the chief musician, a psalm of David. May the Lord answer you in a time of distress. May the name of Jacob's God be a tower of strength to you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all of your offerings and graciously accept your burnt offerings. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill your every plan. May we shout for joy over your victory and in the name of our God unfurl our banners. May the Lord grant your every request. Now I know that the Lord will give victory to his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some boast of chariots and some of horses, but we will boast in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we will rise up and stand firm. Lord, grant victory. May the king answer us on the day that we call. Psalm 4. Psalm 4. For the chief musician with stringed instruments, a psalm of David. Answer me when I call, O my righteous God. When I was in distress, you freed me. 
Now have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You men of rank, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after falsehood? Know that the Lord has singled out the faithful for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Fear him and do not sin. Ponder this on your bed and rest and be silent. Offer righteousness as your sacrifice and trust in the Lord. There are many who say, if only we might see better times. Let the light of your face shine upon us, Lord. You have put in my heart greater joy than others have when their corn and wine abound. In peace I lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, keep me in safety. Psalm 113. Psalm 113. Praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is praised. High above all nations is the Lord. His glory is above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, enthroned so high, yet deigns to look down on heaven and on earth? He lifts the poor from the dust. He raises the needy from the dunghill to seat him with princes, with the princes of his people. He settles the childless woman in her home as a happy mother of children. Praise the Lord. Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from an alien folk, Judah became his sacred people and Israel his sovereign nation. The sea saw him and fled. The Jordan turned back on its course. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like young sheep. What alarmed you, O sea, that you fled? Jordan, why did you turn back? Mountains, why did you skip like rams, you hills like young sheep? It was the presence of the Master, the Creator of the earth. It was the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool of water, the flinty rock into a flowing fountain. Psalm 115. Not for us, O Lord, not for us, but for your name give glory. Because of your loving kindness and your truth, why should the nation say, where is their God now? But our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths but cannot speak. They have eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear. They have a nose but cannot smell. With their hands they cannot feel. With their feet they cannot walk. They utter no sound with their throat. May their makers become like them. And so to all who trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord remembers us. He will give us blessing. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, small and great alike. May the Lord grant you increase, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to man. It is not the dead who praise the Lord, nor those who go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Psalm 116. I love the Lord, for he hears my voice and my supplication. For he inclines his ear to me whenever I call. When the pangs of death encircled me, and the anguish of Sheol overtook me, when I found nothing but distress and sorrow, I invoked the name of the Lord. I beg you, Lord, deliver my soul. Gracious indeed is the Lord and just. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the simple-hearted. I was brought low, and he saved me. Turn back, O oh my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has treated you kindly. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I kept my faith even when I complain, I am sorely afflicted. Even when I spoke rashly, all men are liars. How can I repay the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will raise the cup of salvation and invoke the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of his people. Precious in the Lord's sight is the death of his faithful ones. 
Truly, Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. Free me from my fetters. To you I will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and invoke the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all His people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Psalm 117. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim Him, all you peoples. For strong is His loving kindness towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord is everlasting. Praise the Lord. Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His loving kindness endures forever. Let Israel say, His loving kindness endures forever. In Hebrew we say, Ki leolam chazdo. Let the house of Aaron say, His loving kindness endures forever. Ki leolam chazdo. Let those who fear the Lord say, His loving kindness endures forever. Ki leolam chazdo. In distress I called to the Lord. The Lord answered me and gave me relief. With the Lord on my side, I do not fear. What can man do to me? With the Lord on my side as my helper, I will see the downfall of my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All nations surround me. By the Lord's name, I will cut them down. They surround me. They surround me completely. By the Lord's name, I will cut them down. They surround me like bees. They shall be extinguished like a fire of thorns. By the Lord's name, I will cut them down. I was hard pressed so that I nearly fell, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Joyous songs and shouts of deliverance resound in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. The Lord's right hand is exalted. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die, but live and proclaim the deeds of the Lord. The Lord chastised me severely, but he did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness that I may enter them and praise the Lord. This is the Lord's gate. The righteous shall enter through it. I will praise you for you have answered me and become my deliverer. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be happy in it. We beg you, Lord, save us. We beg you, Lord, send us prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has caused his light to shine upon us. With myrtle branches in hand, form the festal procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his loving kindness endures forever. Psalm 48. A psalm, a psalm of the sons of Korah. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise in the city of our God on his holy mountain. Beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. In the recesses of the north is the city of the great king. In her palaces, God is known as a tower of strength. See the kings join forces advancing together. They saw and they were astounded. They panicked, they fled in fear. Trembling seized them there like the pains of a woman in labor, like the ships of Tarshish when an east wind wrecks them. What we have heard, we have now seen. In the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, may God establish her forever. In your temple, God, we reflect on your loving kindness. Your praise, God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the cities of Judah be glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go all round her. Count her towers. Take note of her ramparts. View her citadels that you may tell it to the next generation that this God is our God forever. He will guide us even unto death. Psalm 68. Psalm 
Psalm 68. For the chief musician, a psalm, a song of David. May God arise, may his enemies be scattered. May those who hate him flee from before him. As smoke is dispersed by the wind, so disperse them. As wax melts before fire, so shall the wicked perish before God. But the righteous shall rejoice and exult before God. They shall be happy and joyful. Sing to God. Sing praises to His name. Extol Him who rides upon the clouds. The Lord is His name. Exult before Him. The Father of the fatherless, the defender of the widow, is God in His holy dwelling. God gives the lonely a home. He leads out the imprisoned to prosperity, but the rebellious shall live in a parched land. God, when you went forth before your people, when you marched before through the wasteland, the earth trembled, the heavens poured down rain at the sight of God. Sinai too quaked at the sight of God, the God of Israel. You, God, poured down a generous rain and refreshed your weary heritage. Then... Your own people settled there. In your goodness, God, you provided for the needy. The Lord spoke the tidings of victory. A great host of women spread the news. Kings with their armies are in flight, in flight, while the women at home divide the spoil. Even for those of you who lie idly among the sheepfolds, there were wings of a dove sheathed in silver, its pinions in glittering gold. When the Almighty scattered the kings, It was like snow falling on Mount Zalmon. Mount Bashan is a lofty mountain. Mount Bashan with its many peaks. Why gaze and envy you many peaked mount at the mountain God desired for his dwelling? The Lord will abide there forever. The chariots of God are many myriads, thousands upon thousands. The Lord was among them. So it was at Sinai, so too, as he entered the sanctuary. You, God, ascended the heights. You carried off captives. You received tributes from men, even from rebels, that the Lord God might dwell there. Blessed be the Lord who bears our burdens day by day. God is our salvation. Our God is a God who saves. The Lord God can provide escape from death. But God will crush the heads of his enemies, the hairy scalp of him who persists in his guilt. The Lord said, I will bring them back from Bashan. I will bring them from that back from the depths of the sea, that your feet may wade through blood, and the tongues of your dogs may have their share of the enemy. The people saw your procession, God, the procession of my God, my King, into the sanctuary, the singers in the lead, the minstrels following, among them maidens beating timbrels, In full assemblies, bless God. Bless the Lord, you are from the fountain of Israel. There was the little tribe of Benjamin leading them. There the princes of Judah in their brocaded robes. There too the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Naphtali. Your God endowed you with strength in the past. Display again, God, that strength which you wrought for us. For the honor of your temple at Jerusalem, kings will bring you gifts. Rebuke the wild beasts of the reeds, the herd of bulls with the calves of the nations. Until humbled, they each come with pieces of silver. Scatter the people who delight in wars. Envoys will come from Egypt. Ethiopia will stretch out her hand to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord. To him who rides upon the heavens, the ancient heavens. Listen. His voice thunders with mighty power. Ascribe power to God, whose majesty is over Israel, whose might is in the skies. You are awesome, God, in your holy places. It is the God of Israel who gives might and strength to the people. May God be blessed. Psalm 69. For the chief musician on Shoshanim, a psalm of David. Save me, God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I have sunk into the miry depths where there is no foothold. I have come into deep waters, and the flood carries me away. I am weary with crying. My throat is parched. My eyes are exhausted waiting for my God. More numerous than the hairs on my head are those who hate me without cause. Many are those who would destroy me, who are wrongfully my enemies. How can I restore what I have not stolen? 
God, you know how foolish I have been. My guilty deeds are not hidden from you. Lord of hosts, let not those who hope in you be put to shame because of me. Let not those who seek you be dismayed because of me, O God of Israel. It is for your sake that I suffer reproach, that shame covers my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to the sons of my own mother. Zeal for your house has consumed me. The insults of those who revile you have fallen upon me. When I wept and fasted, I was taunted for it. When I put on sackcloth, I became a byword among them. Those who sit by the town gate talk about me. I am the song of drunkards. But I, Lord, pray to you. May it be at a favorable moment. God, in your abundant loving kindness, answer me with your true deliverance. Rescue me from the mire. Let me not sink. Let me be rescued from my enemies and from the deep waters. Let not the flood waters carry me away. Do not let the deep swallow me up. And let not the pit close its mouth over me. Answer me, Lord. According to your loving kindness and your great compassion, turn to me. Do not hide your face from your servants. Answer me quickly, for I am in great trouble. Come near to me and redeem me. Free me from my foes. You know my reproach, my shame, and my disgrace. All who harass me are well known to you. Their insults have broken my heart, and I am desperately sick. I look for sympathy, but there is none. For comforters, comforters, but I find none. They put poison in my food. For my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. May their table be a snare to them and a trap to them in their security. May their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see. Make their loins shake continually. Pour out your wrath upon them and let your fierce anger overtake them. May their settlements be deserted. Let there be no one to live in their tents. For they persecute him who you have struck down and gossip about the pain of those who have, whom you have wounded. Charge them with crime upon crime, and let them not enjoy your favor. Let them be blotted out from the book of life, and not be inscribed among the righteous. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your help, God, raise me on high. Then I will praise God's name with a song, and exalt him with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than any bull, or bullock with horns and cloven hoof. The humble will see this and rejoice. Take heart, you seekers after God, for the Lord listens to the needy and does not despise his captive people. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and all that moves them, for God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall live there and inherit it. The descendants of his servants shall possess it, and those who love his name shall dwell there. Psalm 70. For the chief musician, a psalm of David, last care to remember. Make haste, God, to save me. Come quickly to my aid. Ashamed and confounded be those who seek my life. Routed in disgrace be those who desire my ruin. May they withdraw in their shame who jeer, crying, hurrah, hurrah. But may all who seek you be glad and jubilant in you. May those who love your saving power forever say, God is great. But I am poor and needy. God, come quickly to me. You are my help and my deliverer. Lord, do not tarry. Psalm 123. If you're just joining us, thank you for being here. We're reading through the Psalms. I encourage you to grab your scriptures. It doesn't matter what translation you use. It matters the posture of your heart and your desire to be a servant. And tonight we're gathering together in a spirit of unity across the body of believers in the scriptures and the word of the Lord and the God of the Bible. The Lord has his people all over this planet as evidenced by the people who follow this channel and who showed up here tonight. You showed up here tonight because you're a warrior, and you showed up here tonight because you're a watchman. And the Lord put it on your heart to be here, and I'm very grateful that you've chosen to join me and spend this time. Of all of the things that you could be doing on a Saturday evening, you chose to be here and pray. So you're in good company with people who are strong in the Spirit of the Lord. 
Psalm 123, <clears throat> a song of ascents. To you enthroned in heaven I lift up my eyes, as the eyes of slaves look to their master's hand, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God, awaiting his favor. Favor us, Lord, favor us, for we have had more than enough contempt. Too long have we suffered the scorn of the complacent, the contempt of haughty oppressors. Psalm 46. Psalm 46. For the chief musician, a song of the sons of Korah on Alamot. Many of you know this one by heart. God is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we are not afraid when the earth is shaken, when the mountains tumble into the heart of the sea, when its waters roar and foam. And the mountains quake at its surging. There is a river whose streams bring joy to the city of God, the holy dwelling place of the Most High. God is within her. She will never fall. God will help her at the break of day. Nations rage. Kingdoms topple. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. He puts an end to wars throughout the earth. He breaks the bow. He shatters the spear. The shield he burns with fire. Be still and know that I am God exalted among the nations, exalted over the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Psalm 47. For the chief musician, a psalm of the songs of Korah. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Acclaim God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is to be revered. He is the great king over all the earth. He subdues people under us. He puts nations at our feet. He chose us for us our heritage, the pride of Jacob whom he loved. God ascends his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid blasts of the horn. Sing to the Lord, sing. Sing to our king, sing. For God is king over all the earth. Sing with keen understanding. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. O princes of the people, gather together, you people, who are faithful to the God of Abraham. For the guardians of the earth belong to God, and he is exalted above them all. Psalm 22. For the chief musician on the strength of a new dawn, a psalm of David. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Far from my salvation are the words that I roar. My God, I cry by day, but you do not answer. And by night I am not silent. Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One, receiving the praises of Israel. In you our fathers put their trust. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and were saved. They trusted in you and were not disappointed. But I am a worm, not a man, scorned by men, despised by the people. All who see me jeer at me. They curl their lips and wag their heads. But if one commits himself to the Lord, he will save him. He will rescue him because he delights in him. For it was you who drew me from my mother's womb. You who made me secure at my mother's breast. From birth I was thrust upon you. From my mother's womb, you have been my God. Keep not far from me, 
for trouble is near and there is no one to help. Many bulls surrounded me, strong bulls of Bashan encircled me. They opened wide their jaws against me like ravenous roaring lions. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It melts within me. My strength is dried up like a potsherd. My tongue sticks to my palate. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs surround me. A mob of evildoers encircles me. Like a lion, they mangle my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothing among them and cast lots for my garments. But you, Lord, be not far off. My strength come quickly to my aid. Save my life from the sword, my precious soul from those dogs. Rescue me from the lion's jaws. Deliver me from the horns of the wild ox. Then I will declare your fame to my brethren. I will praise you in the midst of the assembly. Praise him, you who fear the Lord. Honor him, all you descendants of Jacob. Stand in awe of him, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not spurned or disdained the misery of the afflicted. He has not hidden his face from him, but has listened to him when he cried for help. You are the theme of my praise in the great assembly. I will pay my vows in the presence of those who revere him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord shall praise him. May you be of good heart forever. Let all the ends of the earth remember and turn to the Lord. Let all the families of the nations bow down before you. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous ones in the land shall feast and worship him. All who are mortars shall kneel before him, even he that cannot keep his soul alive. Prosperity shall serve him. The coming generation shall be told about the Lord, and they in turn shall proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has acted. Psalm 60. This psalm is traditionally recited before Israel went to war. Psalm 60. For the chief musician on Shushan Idut, a miktam of David for instruction, when he fought against Aram Naharaim and Aram Zobah, when Yoav returned and killed 12,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. God, you have rejected us and shattered us. You have been angry, restore us. You have shaken the land and torn it open. Repair its ruins, for it is falling apart. You have made your people suffer hardship. You have given us wine that makes us stagger. But you have raised a banner for those who fear you round which they may rally for the sake of truth, that those dear to you may be delivered. Save with your right hand and answer me. God declared in his sanctuary that I would triumph. I would divide Shechem and measure off the valley of Sukkot. Gilead would be mine, Manasseh mine, Ephraim my chief stronghold, Judah my scepter, Moab would be my wash basin, over Edom would I fling my shoe, Philistia come and join me. But who will conduct me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, God? No longer, God, do you come out with our armies. Grant us aid against the foe, for worthless is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he will trample our foes. Psalm 92. Psalm 92. A psalm, a song for the Sabbath day. It is good to praise the Lord, to sing psalms to your name most high, to proclaim your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness during the night, to the music of the ten-string lyre with a melody of the harp. For you have made me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, Lord. How very profound are your plans. The brutish man cannot know it. The fool cannot understand it. Though the wicked flourish like grass, all the evildoers thrive. It is only that they may be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are eternally supreme. Behold your enemies, Lord. 
Behold, your enemies perish. All evildoers are scattered. But you have raised my horn high like that of a wild ox. I am anointed with rich oil. My eyes see the defeat of my adversaries. My ears hear the downfall of the wicked who attack me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they shall flourish in the courts of our God. In old age they shall bear fruit. Still full of sap, still fresh are they, proclaiming that the Lord is upright, my rock in whom there is no wrong. Psalm 28. Of David, to you, Lord, I call. O oh, my rock, be not deaf to my cry. For if you remain silent, I shall be like those who go down to the grave. Hear my cry when I call to you for help. When I lift my hands towards your holy sanctuary, do not drag me away with the wicked, with evildoers who speak peace with their neighbors, while malice is in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and their malicious acts. Repay them for what their hands have done. Give them their deserts. For they give no thought to the works of the Lord and what his hands have done. May he tear them down and never build them up. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am help. Now my heart exalts, and I praise him with my song. The Lord is the strength of those loyal to him, a safe refuge for his anointed. O oh, save your people, bless your heritage, feed them and sustain them forever. Psalm 110. Psalm 110. A Psalm of David. The Lord said to my Lord, remain at my right hand while I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord will send you your mighty scepter from Zion, saying, Hold sway in the midst of your enemies. Your people will offer themselves willingly in holy attire on the day of battle. You retain the freshness of your youth like the dew that falls from the womb of the dawn. The Lord has sworn and will not relent. You are a priest forever after the manner of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. On the day when his anger is aroused, he will crush kings. He will execute judgment upon the nations. He will pile up the corpses, shattering heads far and wide. He will drink from the stream by the wayside. Therefore, he will hold his head high. Psalm 91. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High and abide in the shadow of the Almighty, I say to you on behalf of the Lord, who is my refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust, that He will deliver you from the fowler's snare, from the destructive plague. He will cover you with His pinions, and beneath His wings you will find shelter. His faithfulness is an encircling shield. You need not fear the terror by night or the arrow that flies by day, the plague that stalks in the darkness or the pestilence that ravages at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look around and see the destruction of the wicked. Because you have said the Lord is my refuge, because you have made the Most High your dwelling, no evil shall befall you, nor plague come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you wherever you go. They will carry you in their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on lion and viper. You will trample on young lions and snakes. Because he desires me, says the Lord, I will deliver him. I will set him on high, for he knows my name. Let him call to me so that I might answer him. 
that I will be with him in the time of trouble, and so that I might rescue him and honor him. With length of days I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 83. Psalm 83. Psalm 83. A song, a psalm of a saf. God, do not be silent. Do not be quiet. Do not be still, O God. See, your enemies raise a tumult. Your foes lift up their heads. They despise, devise crafty schemes against your people. They conspire against your treasured ones. They say, come let us destroy them as a nation. Let Israel's name be remembered no more. With a single mind they take counsel together. They form an alliance against you. The clans of Edom, the Ishmaelites, Moab, and the Hagrites, Gibal, Ammon, Amalek, Philistia, and the inhabitants of Tyr. Assyria too is in league with them, giving aid to the descendants of Lot. Deal with them as you did with the Midianites, with Sisera and Jabin at the brook Kishon, who perished at Endor and were spread over the field like dung. Treat their nobles like Oreb and Ziv, all of their princes like Ziba and Zalmunna, who said, let us take for ourselves the pasture lands of God. My God, make them like thistle down, like chaff driven by the wind. As fire consumes a forest, as the flame sets the mountains ablaze, so pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your whirlwind. Cover their faces with shame until they seek your name, Lord. May they ever be dismayed and terrified. May they be disgraced and may they perish. Then they will know that you, whose name is the Lord, are alone supreme over all the earth. Psalm 7. Psalm 7. A Shigayon of David, when he sang to the Lord concerning Cush, a Benjaminite. Lord my God, in you I seek refuge. Rescue me from all of my pursuers and save me, lest like a lion they tear me apart and rip me to pieces with none to rescue. Lord my God, if I had done these things, if there's guilt on my hands, if I had done evil to him who was at peace with me, I who delivered him without cause was my enemy. Then let an enemy pursue and overtake me. Let him trample my life to the ground and lay my honor in the dust. Arise, Lord, in your anger. Rouse yourself in fury against my foes. Bestear yourself on my behalf. Pronounce judgment. Let the peoples assemble around you. And for them take your seat on high. The Lord judges the peoples. Judge me, Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity. Let the evil of the wicked come to an end. But establish the righteous, you searcher of the mind and heart. You righteous God. I rely on God who is my shield. He saves the upright in heart. God is a just judge. Every day he is indignant with the wicked. If a man does not repent, God will sharpen his sword. He will bend his bow and take aim. He has prepared for him his deadly weapons. He has made ready his arrows for the pursuers of the righteous. See how the wicked conceive evil, is pregnant with mischief and gives birth to lies. He digs a pit and digs it deeply, but he himself will fall into the hole that he has made. His mischief will recoil upon his own head. His violence will come down upon his own skull. I will praise the Lord for his righteousness and sing psalms to the name of the Lord Most High. Psalm 9. For the chief musician on Mutlaven, a psalm of David, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will recount all your wonderful deeds. I will rejoice and exalt in you. 
I will sing praise to your name, O Most High, because my enemies turn back. They stumble and perish before you. For you uphold my right and my cause. You sit on your throne as a righteous judge. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their names forever. The enemy is finished in ruins forever. You uprooted their city. All memory of them is gone. But the Lord abides forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He will judge the world with justice. He will rule the people with fairness. The Lord is a tower of strength for the oppressed, a tower of strength in times of trouble. Let those who acknowledge your name put their trust in you. For you, Lord, do not abandon those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the people. For the avenger of blood remembers. He does not ignore the cry of the afflicted. Have pity on me, Lord. See how I am afflicted by my foes. Raise me from the gates of death, so that I may tell all your praise. In the gates of the daughter of Zion, I will exalt in your deliverance. The nations are sunk in the pit they made. Their foot has been caught in the net they hid. The Lord makes himself known by the justice he does. The wicked man is trapped by his own devices. The wicked shall go to Sheol. All the nations who forget God. But the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be lost forever. Arise, Lord, let no man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know that they are but men. Psalm 10. Why, Lord, do you stand far off? hiding yourself in times of trouble. The wicked in their arrogance hunt down the poor. May they themselves be caught in the schemes they devise. The wicked man boasts of his heart's desires. Greedy for gain, he curses and reviles the Lord. The wicked man in his pride does not seek God. There is no room for God in all of his schemes. His ways prosper at times. Your judgments are above and beyond his grasp. He snaps his fingers at all who oppose him. He thinks in his heart, I shall not be shaken. Never shall I find myself in trouble. His mouth is full of curses, deceit and violence. Mischief and evil are under his tongue. He waits in ambush in the villages. He murders the innocent by stealth. His eyes are on the lookout for the hapless victims. He lurks in hiding like a lion in its lair. He lies in wait to seize the poor. He seizes him and drags him away in his net. He crouches, he stoops, and the hapless fall into his strong grip. He says to himself, God is forgotten. He has hidden his face. He never looks. Arise, Lord. Lift up your hand for action, O God. Do not forget the lowly. Why should the wicked man revile you, God, and think in his heart that you will not call to account? But you see it all. You note know mischief and grief. You will take the matter in hand. The hapless victim commits himself to you. You have always been the helper of the fatherless. Break the power of the wicked and evil man. Search out his wickedness until you find no more. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations will perish from his land. You hear, Lord, the yearning of the humble. Strengthen their hearts and pay heed to them. Do justice to the fatherless and the downtrodden so that mortal man may never again inspire terror. Psalm 35. Psalm 35. Of David, strive, Lord, with those who strive against me. Fight those who fight against me. Take up shield and buckler and come to my defense. Uncover the spear and bar the way in the face of my pursuers. Say to me, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and shamed. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May they be like chaff before the wind with the angel of the Lord driving them on. May their path be dark and slippery, 
with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. For without cause they have laid their net for me. Without cause they have dug a pit for me. But destruction will overtake them unawares. And the net they laid will catch them. They will fall into it, into their destruction. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in His deliverance. All of my bones will say, Lord, who is like you? You save the poor from the one stronger than he, the poor and the needy from his despoiler. Malicious witnesses come forward. They question me on things of which I know nothing. They repay me evil for good. They seek my undoing. Yet when they were sick, I put on sackcloth. I afflicted myself with fasting. May it come to me what I prayed for them. I went about as though grieving for a friend or a brother, bowed in gloom as though mourning for a mother. But when I stumble, they gather round with glee. Even cripples gather against me. And those I do not know tear me to pieces without ceasing. With profane mocking gestures, they gnash their teeth at me. How long, Lord, will you look on? Rescue my life from their onslaughts, my precious soul from the lions, and I will praise you in the great assembly, extol you before a mighty throne. Let not my treacherous enemies rejoice over me. Let not those who hate me without cause wink maliciously, for they do not speak of peace, but devise deceitful schemes against the oppressed in the land. They open wide their mouths against me, crying, Hurrah, hurrah, I have seen it. You have seen it all, Lord. Be not silent. Do not be far from me, Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. To plead my cause, my Lord and my God, do me justice as you are just yourself, Lord my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them say to themselves, Hurrah! That's what we wished. Let's, let them not say, We have swallowed him up. May those who gloat over my misfortune be shamed and disgraced. May those who exalt themselves over me be covered with shame and confusion. May those who would see me vindicated shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, Magnified be the Lord who delights in the success of his servants. Then shall my tongue speak of your justice and all day long of your praise. Psalm 44. Psalm 44. For the chief musician of Maskila, the sons of Korah, God, we ourselves have heard, our fathers have told us of the deeds you performed in their days and days long ago. With your hand you displaced nations and planted our fathers in their place. You punished the peoples and drove them out. It was not by their sword that they won the land, nor did their arm bring them victory. But it was your right hand and your arm and the light of your presence because you favored them. God, you are my king. Command victory for Jacob. Through you we gore our foes. By your name we trample our aggressors. For I do not trust in my bow. It is not my sword that brings me victory. But you gave us victory over our foes. You put to shame those who hate us. In God we glory all day long and praise your name forever. But now you have rejected and humiliated us. You no longer go out with our armies. You have made us retreat before the foe. Those who hate us plunder us at will. You have given us up to be devoured like sheep and scattered among the nations. You sold your people for next to nothing and made no profit at their sale. You have made us the scorn of our neighbors, the mockery and contempt of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations. The people shake their heads at us. My disgrace confronts me all day long. Shame covers my face at the shout of those who taunt and revile me because of the enemy who is bent on revenge. All this has befallen us, yet we have not forgotten you, nor have we been false to your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, nor have our feet strayed from your path. Yet you have crushed us and cast us into the haunt of jackals and covered us up with deep darkness. Had we forgotten the name of our God and spread out our hands to a foreign God, would not God have discovered it? since he knows the secrets of the heart. For your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, 
Why do you sleep, Lord? Rouse yourself and do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and oppression? We are brought down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Arise and help us. For the sake of your loving kindness, redeem us. Psalm 50. A psalm of Asaph. God the Lord speaks. He summons the whole world from east to west, from Zion the city perfect in beauty. God shines forth. Our God is coming and will not be silent. Before him is a devouring fire. Around him a raging storm. He summons the heavens above and the earth for the trial of his people. Gather to me, my devout people, those who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. Listen, my people, and I will speak. His trial I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices, nor for your burnt offerings, which are ever before me. I have no need to take bulls from your farmstead, or he goes from your folds. For mine is every beast of the forest and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird on the mountain, everything that moves in the field belongs to me. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the world is mine and all that it holds. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of he goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in time of trouble. I will rescue you and you will honor me. But to the wicked man, God says, What right have you to recite my laws and mouth the words of my covenant? seeing that you hate correction and cast my words behind you. When you see a thief, you associate with him. You throw in your lot with adulterers. You give free reign to your mouth for evil and harness your tongue to deceit. You sit and malign your brother and slander your own mother's son. All this you have done, and I said nothing. You thought that I was like you, but now I will rebuke you and indict you to your face. Consider this, you who forget God, lest I tear you apart and there be none to save you. He who offers a sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. And to him who sets himself on my way, I will show the salvation of God. Psalm 54. For the chief musician with stringed instruments, a muscle of David. When the Zephites came and told Saul, we are sure David is hiding among us. Save me, God, by your right hand. Vindicate me by your might. God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me. Ruthless men seek my life. Men who have no regard for God. But God is my helper. The Lord is with them who sustain my soul. He will repay the evil of those who seek out my faults. By your faithfulness you will destroy them. Then I will willingly offer sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from all trouble, and my eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. Psalm 94. Psalm 94. Psalm 94. God of vengeance, Lord, God of vengeance, appear. Arise, O judge of the earth, give the proud their deserts. How long shall the wicked, O Lord, how long shall the wicked triumph? They pour out a stream of arrogant words. All the evildoers brag about themselves. They crush your people, Lord, and afflict your own heritage. They kill the widow and the stranger. They murder the fatherless, and they say the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob pays no heed. Take heed, you most stupid people. You fools, when will you be wise? Can he who implanted the ear not hear? He who formed the eye not see? Shall he who disciplines nations and teaches mankind knowledge not punish? The Lord knows the thoughts of man, that they are but an empty breath. Happy is the man whom you discipline, Lord, and teach him out your law, giving him peace in days of trouble, 
until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not abandon his people, nor forsake his own heritage. For justice shall again accord with the righteous, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against evil men? Who will stand up for me against wrongdoers? Had not the Lord been my help, I soon should have dwelt in the silent grave. When I thought my foot was slipping, your loving kindness, Lord, supported me. When anxieties increased within me, your consolations cheered my soul. Can a corrupt throne be your associate, one that brings on misery by its decrees? They band together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord is my strong tower. My God is the rock where I take refuge. He will repay them for their wickedness and destroy them for their evil deeds. The Lord our God will destroy them. Psalm 100. A psalm of thanksgiving. Shout for joy to the Lord, all men on earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Enter his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his, his people and the flock of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His loving kindness is everlasting. His faithfulness lasts through all generations. Psalm 33. This will be our last psalm of the night before we close in prayer. Psalm 33. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for pouring out your hearts before the Lord with me. Brothers and sisters, friends, it is an honor and a privilege to pray with you. I feel very blessed that the Lord has given me a platform in which to lift up his name. Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Psalm 33, our last psalm of the night before we close in prayer. Psalm 33. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Praise the Lord with a harp. Sing to him with a ten-string lute. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully amid shouts of joy. For the, Lord, for the word of the Lord is right. His every deed is trustworthy. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and all their hosts by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea as in a heap. He puts the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it was. He commanded, and there it stood. The Lord frustrates the plans of nations. He thwarts the designs of peoples. But the Lord's own plan stands forever. The designs of his heart endure for all generations. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all mankind. From his dwelling place, he surveys all the inhabitants of the earth. It is he who fashions the hearts of them all. He knows all their doings. No king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior is delivered by his great strength. The horse is a vain hope for deliverance. Despite its great strength, it provides no escape. But the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, who wait for his loving care to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Let your loving kindness, Lord, rest upon us as we put our hope in you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to close tonight. <sighs> with the traditional prayer that Israel says before Israel goes to sleep. This, if you have the Korin Tehillim, this is in the back. This is the Shema before sleep at night. Since we are going to sleep here soon in America, and Israel is seven hours ahead of us, so they're in the middle of the morning right now.
the early dark hours of the morning. It's most appropriate, I think. If you have the Quran Tehillim, this is on page 774 of the Quran Tehillim. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who cast the bonds of sleep from my eyes and slumber upon my eyelids. May it be your will, Lord my God and God of my fathers, that you make me lie down in peace and raise me up in peace. Let not my imagination, bad dreams, or troubling thoughts disturb me. May my bed be flawless before you. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, for it is you who illuminates the pupil of the eye. Blessed are you, O Lord, who gives light to the whole world in his glory. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Blessed be his name, his glory, his kingdom forever and ever. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. These words which I command you today shall be on your heart. Teach them diligently to your children. Speak of them when you sit at home and when you walk along the way, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as an emblem between your eyes. Write them on the doorposts of your home and on your gates. May the pleasantness of the Lord our God be upon us. Establish for us the work of our hands. Establish the work of our hands. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I trust, that he will save you from the fowler snare and the deadly pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and beneath his wings you will find shelter. His faithfulness is an encircling shield. You need not fear the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that ravages at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the destruction of the wicked. Because you have said the Lord is my refuge, taking the Most High as your shelter, no harm will befall you, nor plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all their ways. They will bury you up in their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on lions and vipers. You will trample on young lions and on snakes. The Lord says, because he loves me, I will rescue him and I will protect him because he acknowledges my name. When he calls on me, I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. I will deliver him and bring him honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord, how many are my adversaries? Truly, how many raise up against me? Many say of me there is no help for him. <laughs> Many say of me, there is no help for him. But you, my Lord, are a shield round about me. You are my glory, you raise my head high. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain, Selah. I lie down to sleep, and I wake again, for the Lord supports me. I will not fear the myriad of forces raged against me on all sides. Arise, my Lord, save me. My God, strike my enemies across the cheek, break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing rest upon your people, Selah. Help us to lay down, Lord our God, in peace and raise us up our kingdom to life. Spread over us the canopy of your peace. Direct us with your good counsel. Save us for the sake of your name. Shield and remove from us every plague, sword, famine, and woe. Remove the adversary from before us and behind us. Shelter us in the shadow of your wings. For you, O God, are our faithful and compassionate deliverer and king. You are gracious and compassionate. Guard our goings out and our comings in for life and for peace for now until eternity. Blessed is the Lord by day. Blessed is the Lord by night. Blessed is the Lord when we lay down. Blessed is the Lord when we get up. For in your hand are the souls of the living and the dead. As it is written in his hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. And to your hand I commit my spirit. You redeem me, Lord God of truth. Our God in heaven, bring unity to your name. And establish your kingdom constantly and reign over us forever and all time. May our eyes see, may our hearts rejoice, and our souls be glad and trusting in you. When Zion is told your God reigns. Hashem Melech, Hashem Malach, Hashem Imloch, the Bayad, the Lord is King. The Lord was King, the Lord will be King forever and evermore, for the sovereignty is yours and for all eternity will reign in glory, for we have no King but you. From Genesis 48, may the angel who rescued me from all harm bless these lads, and may they be called by my name and the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, and may they increase greatly on the earth. Exodus 15. He said, if you listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will not bring on you any of the diseases which I brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Zechariah 3. The Lord said to the accuser, the Lord shall rebuke you, accuser. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem shall rebuke you. Is not this man a burning stick snatched from the flame? 
Song of Songs 3. Behold, it is Solomon's bed, escorted by sixty warriors, the noblest of Israel, all of them wearing the sword, experienced in battle, each with his sword at his side, prepared for the terror of the nights. Number 6. Yevarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha, Yer Adonai panavalecha v'chunecha, Yisa Adonai panavalecha v'yisim lecha shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Hine lo yanum velo yishan shumei Israel. Behold, the guardian of Israel neither slumbers or sleeps. Behold, the guardian of Israel neither slumbers or sleeps. Genesis 49. For your salvation, I hope, Lord. I hope, Lord, for your salvation. Lord, for your salvation, do I hope. For your salvation, I hope, Lord. I hope, Lord, for your salvation. Lord, for your salvation, do I hope. In the name of the Lord God of Israel, may Michael be at my right hand, Gabriel at my left, Uriel in front of me, Raphael behind me, and above my head, the presence of God. In the name of the Lord God of Israel, may Michael be at my right hand, Gabriel at my left, in front of me, Uriel, behind me, Raphael, and above my head, the presence of God. A song of ascents. Happy are all those who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. When you eat the fruit of your labor, happy and fortunate are you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your home, and your sons like olive saplings around your table. So shall the man who fears the Lord be blessed. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life, and may you live to see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Psalm 4. Tremble and sin not. Ponder this on your bed and be silent. Tremble and sin not. Search your heart as you lie on your bed and be silent. Tremble and sin not. Search your heart as you lie on your bed and be silent. Master of the universe who reigned before any, anything, when by his will all things were made, then was his name proclaimed king. And when all things shall cease to be, he alone will reign at all. It is he who was, he who is, and he who shall be glorious forevermore. He is one. There is none other. Alone, unique, beyond compare, without beginning, without end, His might, His rule are everywhere. He is my God. My Redeemer lives, the rock on whom I rely, my banner and my safe retreat, my cup and portion when I cry. And to His hand I commit my spirit. When I awake and when I sleep, the Lord is with me. I shall not fear. Body and soul from harm He will keep. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May it come swiftly. May the Lord deliver his people. And I thank you all for being with me tonight. Thank you for laboring with me in the spirit. Thank you for doing spiritual warfare raids with me. And I would ask you to, to continue as well, to continue in prayer yourself as the Lord leads you. Be sensitive to the move and the power of the Holy Spirit as he testifies to you. And throughout the next week, for sure, I think we're going to see some mighty movement of the Lord. But we need to be in prayer. Um, we need to be on our face before the Lord and be submitted to the Lord. If, if you're looking particularly for a practical thing that you can do, going through the Psalms and asking the Lord before you open the Psalms, ask the, ask the Father to show you what He would have you pray, to specifically give you discernment, to give you um, insight and wisdom to know how to pray. And we know the Lord's promises are forever. We know His covenant with Israel is forever. We know that He is the guardian of Israel. And we know of all the times, of all the times that the enemies of the Lord could have come against the people of Israel and against His people, they chose to essentially assault them on the anniversary of the covenant. So I know exactly how this is going to go. I know exactly how this is going to go. And my confidence is in the Lord God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. His promises endure. He is not asleep and he has not forgotten his people. He is strong, and there is none like him. Thank you for laboring with me tonight. Thank you for praying with me. Let's move in power and be sensitive to the movement of the Holy Spirit as God would have us pray. And you're never going to go wrong praying the Psalms. If you don't know what to pray, pick up the scriptures and read through the Psalms. The Lord will show you what to pray, and he will testify to you specifically nuanced how to pray in each and each one of them. He will show you. 
So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate you. I'm probably going to do another one tomorrow night. I will uh, put that bulletin up on uh, YouTube as well. And then also on Instagram and Facebook as well as my Patreon uh, supporters as well. I'll let you guys know, but I'm planning to do another one tomorrow night. As the Lord leads, thank you for praying for me. Um, thank you for praying for uh, the relief and cessation of, my, of, of the pain that I've been dealing with. Like I said, it, it's been a challenging day, but praise the Lord, we got through it. And I'm just very, very grateful. So thank you guys so much. May the Lord bless and keep you all. Thank you for laboring with me tonight in the spirit. Bye.